What is up, everybody? Suburban Legend here. No intro. We got a lot to cover in, in today's commentary. And first of all, what is lag? <laughs> That's today's topic. A lot of times, I've heard so many commentators blame lag. Lag compensation. The kill cam is wrong. That's not what actually happened. And so many of them have no idea what's actually going on behind the scenes of Call of Duty. What's going on in the engine? How does it calculate lag? Lag compensation. Input prediction. We're going to get down and dirty. We're going to get technical. We're going to go way deep into the details of the game. And I'm going to explain to you what's actually happening. Chances are your favorite commentator has no idea what he's talking about when it comes to situations such as this. So grab a notepad, let's go, and hopefully you learn a couple things that you can maybe uh, use in the future and gain an advantage when you're playing Call of Duty. So first of all, why does lag compensation get such a bad rap? Because people don't know what they're talking about, to be honest with you. If it weren't for lag compensation, these online first-person shooter games that we all play would be absolutely unplayable. So let's just get that misconception out of the way right away. Lag compensation is a very, very good thing. <laughs> Sometimes it's off, but trust me, without lag compensation, Call of Duty, Halo, Gears of War, these first-person shooter games, third-person shooter games, anything online would not be nearly as popular as it is today. Okay. Now during this, this commentary, I'm going to make an assumption that I'm just going to say my ping or my lag essentially is 100 milliseconds just to make it easier for me to explain these things to you and uh, client side versus server side I got to get that out of the way too I am the client I'm assuming I am not the host in this game of Call of Duty I'm going to talk about so I'm client side and server side is whoever is the host that's considered the server and just so you know the server always has the final say what I see versus what the server sees is always different so server has final say all the time okay First of all, what we need to talk about right off the bat is input prediction. That's the first term we're going over today is input prediction. Now, like I said, I have 100 milliseconds of lag, so we're saying in this commentary. So, back in the day when they first started the first first person shooter game, when I move or when I shoot, nothing would happen on my screen until that signal for my guy to shoot went from my console to the server console, which takes 100 milliseconds. Then when the server sees that, it sends it back to my console, probably another 100 milliseconds, and then my character finally moves or shoots. So that's that's one-fifth of a second of lag. That's 200 milliseconds of lag. Okay, that's not, uh, that's not cool. You know, If every time I hit left or right, I had to wait a fifth of a second for my character to react in the game, that would feel very uncomfortable. It would feel laggy. It would feel crappy. So that's where they came up with input prediction. So when I move... On my screen, my guy moves immediately, and when I shoot, I see the bullets flying out of my gun immediately. But the, the problem with input prediction is that that's only happening on my console. According to the server console, that hasn't happened yet. So when I shoot, I see it immediately on my screen, but those bullets aren't actually being fired yet until the host sees that I have sent the signal to shoot my gun and sends it back to me, which could be 100-200 milliseconds of lag. That's why sometimes, uh, you know, in a kill cam, or before the kill cam, I see a guy come around the corner, I put two, three shots on him, I die. Kill cam comes up, and I don't have a single shot being fired in that kill cam. That's what the server actually saw. What you're seeing is the input prediction on your console showing that you're shooting right away, so you get the feeling of, of you know, real responsive type controls, but it hasn't actually happened yet. That's why uh, people always say, the kill cam lied, or... Oh shit, I shot this guy, and you know, his screen was red, and all that stuff. It's it's just the input prediction. <laughs> so it, it's, a, it's, not a, it's not a perfect system, but it's better than not having it, okay? Now we're going to talk about the crazy, you know, what everyone talks about, lag compensation. If you fire a bullet, and you're 20 seconds into the game, by the time the server gets your signal that you're firing a bullet, we're going to say it's 20 and a half seconds into the game. So if that were the case you would miss every time because the guy would be half a second further than he was. So that's where lag compensation comes into play. And I'll throw a little uh, graphic on the screen right now to illustrate this point. Uh, what you can see between the, the two different uh, shades of character color here is where the character was on my screen when I fired at him. Then the server goes back. Once it gets the signal, it stores data for every player for the last one second where they were. So if it took me a half a second for my signal to get there, it'll rewind that player's data for a half a second. And that's where he is 
you know, actually, that's where the hitbox will register. However, it's not always perfect because his leg could be a little bit higher at that moment or ping, and my ping could be a little bit lower at that moment. It's never exactly perfect, and the problem with these real fast-paced shooters like Call of Duty is that, you know, one or two or even three milliseconds of lag, which is something that's not even perceptible to the human eye, could mean a couple inches of difference in your character model. So if I'm shooting at a guy's head and, you know, there's a prediction error of three milliseconds, he might be three inches further away than what I, what I saw on my screen. Therefore, I don't get the hitboxes and he killed me. I mean, that's why, that's why a lot of games like Battlefield and, and Halo, you know, they take so many shots to kill because those minute, you know, milliseconds of, of error don't come into play nearly as often when it takes so many more bullets to kill. It's a little bit slower paced and you really never notice that type of stuff. First person, you know, real quick twitch shooters like Call of Duty, every millisecond matters. I mean, it's, it's you know, first person to shoot generally wins the gunfight. So that's where leg compensation comes into play. Kill cams, like I said, those are always different because it's what the server sees, not what you see. Um, and I mean, there's even a lot more to cover. There's hitboxes, and I'm not exactly sure how Call of Duty executes this. Each Call of Duty game handles this differently, but the character model and the hitbox are two separate things. Actually, before I get into that, I want to rewind just one second back to input prediction. Um, not only are you moving faster during input prediction, but your console predicts the input of every player in the game. So if my ping between me and player number three is 200 milliseconds. My console is constantly tracking where player three is at. And uh, based on his movement, it's projecting he's gonna stay on his current path for 200, 300 milliseconds, whatever his ping is. So if he's running straight, I'm gonna actually see his player model on my console 300 milliseconds before he actually gets there. So if he turns, you know, he's not gonna quite be there. That's why sometimes you see some crazy stuff Especially if a guy comes jumping around a corner, I mean, the hitboxes go crazy, you know, when someone jumps because that's something that's not predictable, okay? The input prediction predicts you're going to keep going the same, you know, direction that you currently are. If you run straight around a corner, it's usually accurate. If you run around a corner and jump, it can get a little bit crazy. <laughs> so, uh, I know I'm kind of confusing people now, but let's get that out of the way. Now, character models and hitboxes are two separate things. I believe in Call of Duty, the player character is generally more lined up with the input prediction on your console, and the hitbox is the player's actual position on the server. That's why, for instance, in Black Ops 1, when you saw the character model, which is the input prediction on your console, thinking that's where the guy's going to be, you always had to aim a little bit ahead of it if you wanted to get you know more shots on target. Also, that's why snipers can get kills when they don't even hit people. You know, you see kill cams or or uh, even when you're sniping sometimes you totally miss a guy and you still get the kill you're like oh well, shit i'll take it i ain't gonna argue about it so uh one more brief second i know this video is wrapping up but how do you possibly fix this well there's two solutions to fix this problem uh, a is a faster internet for everybody which is still probably a decade away <laughs> so you know until we can get our ping down to one or two milliseconds something that's not perceptible to the human eye that's a ways off so B, the only other way to predict or to, to fix this problem is to turn over the final decision making from the server side or the host to each individual client or every single every single console. Um, you know, what they see is actually where the hitbox registers. But the problem with that is people will plug in lag switches, things like that. Um, they can come up with coding on each console that can do this accurately. But the problem is, is between the constantly internet, you know, you have to go through your router. People can plug in things between that and their router, such as a, uh, such as a leg switch. And that's where, you know, you just can't predict what's going to happen. So that's why we're not quite there yet. Maybe the next PS4, Xbox 720 will come up with some type of a system to perfect this system. But until then, that's why we just can't do it. That's why people still have leg switches now. You know, a leg switch isn't going to work unless you're the host of the game. Obviously, that's why, because, you know, your server or your console makes all the decisions. That's why leg switches are effective in games like Call of Duty. So, anyways, hopefully you guys learned a thing or two uh, from this video. And, uh, yeah, now you have a better understanding of why 
what's actually happening when leg and when you see leg or you know you put one or two bullets on a guy and on the kill cam you didn't put a single bullet on the guy it's just because of that input prediction that you know on your screen you see bullets firing right away but in the real world or what's actually happening on the server it just you know hasn't happened yet it's uh, it's a little bit of a strange feeling but that's honestly what's happening so uh, let me know if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up a like and a favorite or even subscribe to my channel and uh, we'll talk to you next time thanks